Do you want to make edits like this and go viral? Drag your song into your timeline and mark the beat. Then drag your clip into the timeline, unlink it and remove the audio. Go to settings and change this to optical flow. Then reduce the size to about 0.730. Now find the intro clip for your edit. Look for a clip that just has a player walking. Drag an adjustment clip above your video and change the crop settings to this. As you can see in my clip, the player goes out of the frame, fix this. Select your clip, go to the position axis, keyframe the X and Y settings and adjust them so that your player doesn't move out of frame. Now do the same thing with your other clips. I will change the settings every time our player is moving out of the frame. Now go to the point where your player is about to shoot, press the keyframe button. Then move to where the ball has gone out of the frame and adjust the keyframe at that point. Now our clip looks like this. The same thing with all your other clips. Now go to your last clip, cut it at the beat and remove it. Now add your image into the timeline, adjust its size. Create a compound clip of it. Now go six frames forward. Make a cut. Click this arrow and choose dynamic zoom. Reduce the size of this green rectangle a little bit. Now your beat drop looks like this. Go to your intro and add a keyboard typing sound effect. Add a text over your clip in the sound effect. Go to the end of your sound effect and then select your clip and go to the fusion page. Write your text here. Here are the glow settings I use in my text. We'll make the typing effect. Keyframe the right on at the last frame of your sound effect. Go to the first frame and change it to zero. Now your typing effect is complete. Now we want to create a clean transition between our clip. Go to the effects tab and drag in a solid color effect. Change the color to white. We are at the end of our clip right now. Go five frames back from here. Drag the effect to this point. Now go five frames forward on your next clip. Make a cut and delete the rest. Now go to the middle point of your effect. Add a keyframe to the opacity dot move to the end of your clip and change the opacity to zero. Now your clean transition is also complete. Add a sound effect to make it look cooler. Now add a ball kick sound effect every time your player touches the ball and add a goal net sound effect when your ball hits the net. Copy and paste the transition to your last clip and add a text to it. Now your edit looks like this. Create a compound clip with all your text and transitions. Drag it to the upper video track. Add your color correction, shakes and effects go to the part where the ball goes in the net add an adjustment clip over it resize it to match your clip go to the fusion page dot search for glow keyframe the size and glow leave around five frames of your clip and add another keyframe reduce the glow here increase the glow at the first keyframe deselect all the color options except green now you have this effect T.O. make a watermark, drag a text under all your clips and effects, change it to your name, go to the settings and change the composite mode to overlay and reduce the opacity to your liking.
and drop shadow to your text and copy my settings. Now your edit is complete and hey race the final result. <laughs> Make sure to like the video and subscribe and comment down below what tutorial I should do next.